In continuation of this year's Commonwealth of Nations Day celebration, representatives of Commonwealth member countries gathered at the residence of the British Deputy High Commissioner in Lagos, Nigeria, to celebrate the rich cultural diversity of each country. The theme for this year's celebration is delivering a common future. New Central's Bernard Akede was at the ceremony and compiled this report. Comprising 54 member countries and a combined population of about 2.4 billion people, the Commonwealth of Nations is a political association of which almost all its members are former territories of the British Empire. Every year on the 14th of March, representatives of member countries gather together to remind themselves of the common ties connecting them and the various ways they all can benefit from one another. And in Lagos, Nigeria's commercial capital, it was indeed a display of cultures. The significance is that we are all coming back together as a force, I want to use that, that phrase, as a force, you know, to celebrate that unity, that oneness that we've had over the years. As you look around here, you can see the diversity of cultures, the diversity of people. And that's what the Commonwealth stands for. And together we're working and striving for better governance, um, fighting climate change, and also becoming more um, inclusive in all the things that we do. Member states have no legal obligation to one another, but are connected through their use of the English language and share similar struggles and challenges. But the representatives believe by working together as a group, a lot can be achieved in their individual countries. We are gone talking. You wouldn't say there's so one country who does not know what there has to be done. Everybody knows that the rule of law, governance, human rights are the basics in which each state is being formed. Now, what, where the Commonwealth comes in is just to reiterate, to show how important it is, so that we can learn from good practices. When we come together, it's just to say, we are here, these are the things we stand for. If you are not doing it right, this is an occasion for you to rethink and come back to where we started. That what India did, that it got converted from uh, a, power, a poor country to a rich country and a very efficient and very powerful country. Uh, the one line, uh, one line answer to that one is perseverance, continuously striving towards the perfection. So that is my advice to everybody. May it be country, or may it be individual, or may it be any organization. One has to do continuous attempt to see that you are nearing or you are going near the perfection. As the dignitaries and representatives of the various countries enjoyed a display of cultural beauty, they were all enjoined to stand together in the face of multi-global crises, including the COVID-19 pandemic, which has claimed nearly one million lives in the Commonwealth, climate change, and insecurity amongst others. What binds the Commonwealth together is our values, our approach to these issues uh, based on human rights. I think the more we can work together to try and resolve those issues, the more we can work together to try and build understanding. That's what we need to do. So more of what we're doing is what's, uh, is what's required, and I think we really celebrate that. Bernard Akede, New Central Lagos.